boys, this is Tori and today we're going to talk about gem management. So first of all, what gems are is pretty easy. Gems are the most valuable rare currency in the game. They're like this plate right here and even though it says gold, they are gems. So how to obtain them? It's pretty easy, so just let us do the math. You get 100 from the daily quest completion, you get 20 from the casino, you get 20 from the campaign reward, you get 20 from the battle raid. Then you can get 100 per day from the free gems. But, so that would grant us with 500 ter 520 in 2 days. But, to complete both days, you need one summon scroll. Why only one? Because you can get one free one every 42 hours. So we have two options. Either we get lucky and we get a scroll in the uh, market, not like this. So we have to spend the um, 250 gems for the like normal summon or we get one in the market and then we end up with one minus 150 which would lead us to 370 gems or 270 gems saved up per two days. Also, you can calculate your login bonuses in. Sometimes you get 30, but I'm just gonna leave them out because yeah, you sometimes get heroes, so it's not really on a constant scale. Yeah. So you can also get gems from the arena. Not only can you get them from the reward tab right here, um, you can play first and you can back in and you get those additional gems. Then they have seasonal rewards. And yeah, so that's the arena and also you can get gems by just randomly fighting an enemy right here. We're just gonna do that real quick. Um, there we go. I'm probably just going to skip that, but as it's pretty easy to see. I'm just gonna skip that and there you go, gems. We got 15 gems now additionally, which is pretty good. I like that and that's very nice. So. Yeah, that's basically it. You can get them from also from like your daily placement, your seasonal placement, and after the game. So there are also marauders. So let me just quickly collect my heart right here. If you can get hold of your own marauder, then that's even better. But also your friends have marauders you can fight. So um, it's pretty. You there's like a good tip to it. Um, only attack the marauders that are at low HP because whenever you do get to kill a marauder you get additionally 80 gems for like the completion. You get them just straight in your mail so that's pretty good. Um, yeah and then if yeah no one has like marauders that are low then just waste them on your like attack your own marauder or just like I don't know attack a random one from your friends because you still get points. Um, there is a leaderboard for the Marauders right here. You get additional gems if even if you play really bad You get like 50 or 60 gems, which is of course very nice And of course we have the events which grant you with gems and that's already leading us to the second point Second part of this actual video and this one is how to spend your gems All right, so first of all when it comes to the dailies, you have the option to claim um, those, I don't know, additional, for me it's 148,000 gems, to immediately complete the Hand of Midas. Do not do this. Wait 8 hours until it refreshes, and then you basically get these, um, the completion of this quest for free, which is pretty useful. Also, the probably the most important tip is to buy stuff off of the market. like I'm doing it right here. When it comes to useful stuff, for me it it is only these chips, it is heroic summon scrolls, it is arena tickets and profit orbs, but they are rather rare and I would not invest in monsters that cost gems, only in monsters that are like gold, um, yeah based on gold. So um, yeah exactly, this was the, um, the first part of how to spend them and then there's also um, the, an interesting concept when it comes to the um, the tavern, right? So let's just say we're going to do this one. It's a gem quest, so we can keep it because 
yeah and then it says speed up those do we need this no so first tip do not quick end your um, tavern quests even though you only have like three stars and stuff so just be patient with completing your daily quests it's just better you don't need to complete them right away um also you need it w is a good thing to save up your um five maybe yeah five star quests i know it's hard to tell but especially like your six and seven star quests if you can see them right here you have those stars and if it goes above six and six and seven star quests then they're like reddish or orange and yeah you just want to keep them for the events because they can also grant you with extra gems when you complete the events most likely it's also profit orbs and like a five star which is really good also you should re-roll like let me just quickly do this right here so all of the the um, tavern quests that are gem that are included that include gems sorry um i'm gonna do them i'm gonna try to finish them and just like this just like this and then uh, i need this one right here and so i can just do this and do this so then we have two rather useless ones with just basic scrolls so i'm going to refresh them and Okay, so this is where you can decide. You basically just wasted 20 gems in reward for 12. So I'm going to reroll them once again. And there we go. I made like a plus of 6 gems already. Which is really nice. So I'm just going to finish this one. And there we go. So that's probably it about the, um, the tavern quests. So let's just go to the summon circle. Which is also a really um, real gem trap in my opinion. So... Um, do not, even though it is really hard and really tempting, never spend your gems um, on the summons when there is no summon event. Just don't do it. So just spend um, them on like the market scrolls and then save them up or waste them for your daily quests. Or wait for the free ones in order to do summons. Even though it is really tempting and I know it's hard, but do not waste them and rather save them up or waste them. Uh, or invest them into your daily quests and also when it comes to the events like for example the militants event let's say you have 180 right so you want to get those 600 gems and this artifact but you only have like I don't know like 600 gems or so and you want to buy stuff you want to buy those additional 20 so let's say this uh, okay <laughs> say 20 so you would waste 400 gems don't do this only if it is really worth it so in this part in this kind of way you would get like 200 additional gems which is fine but if you were at like 150 it is just not worth it in this case just accept your faith save the ones you have left over and just go for the other events so those are probably all the gem related tips I can give you. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, also the kind of new editing style that I brought in. Um, yeah, this is about it. Leave your ideas, thoughts and <laughs> everything else down in the comments below. Don't hesitate to give this video a like and I'll see you later. Peace.